Earlier this year, the American Academy of Pediatrics released new guidelines on treating children who struggle with obesity. And we told you then, medical interventions were being recommended specifically for some kids six years and older, but some as young as two. So good eating habits start from the time kids start eating. This morning, I wanted to go in depth and take a look at the best ways to introduce food to your kids. And some of the recommendations these days might be different than what we all grew up with. Take a look. Every parent wants to know, how do I get my kids to eat and make sure they're eating what's good for them? You might be surprised to hear kids as young as toddlers can help make those decisions. And letting them do that can create healthy eating habits for life. Experts recommend letting kids choose what they eat, but that doesn't mean they can eat as much of or anything they want. Dietitian Erin Birch says it's all about dividing responsibility. It is our responsibility to choose what we give our kids, and it is the child's choice as well and how much they eat of that. So what does that look like? Let me introduce you to two-year-old Cece. You want to put it right up there? Oh my goodness, look at that guy. Is I that had lunch cool? with her the other day to help answer the questions parents might have. First, what should I be feeding my kids? I like to have, make sure that I have fruits offered, vegetables offered, whole grains offered. Make sure you're serving something that you know they'll eat. Next, how do I serve it? Aaron recommends putting all the options in front of your kids and letting them pick what they want and how much. Even as young as Cece is, she can choose what she eats. Cece, do you want to put some broccoli on your plate? Okay, go ahead, put it right on their plate. Lastly, and this one might surprise you, how do I handle dessert? Aaron says, Cookies, don't treat it any differently bundles. than any other food you yeah. offer. Let your kids plate it up with everything else. It takes away that, like I said, that taboo of um, that cookie is something special. I need to earn that or I need to finish all of this before I can get that. And a lot of parents will do that and they'll think, oh, my kids are going to eat that right away. And then they're not going to eat anything else. But it's actually really surprising. It's no surprise Cece added cookies to her plate. But the first thing she chose to eat. Cece, would you like to eat? Are you hungry? Broccoli. People will think, well, my kid's going to go right for the cookie. And a lot of times that doesn't happen. And if they did, that's okay too. That was a pleasant surprise to see that she actually, when she got to eat, she picked the broccoli first. And she does love broccoli, but when it's sitting next to a cookie, I didn't expect that. Too. Bob, I'm getting big. You are getting big, yes. <laughs> Isn't that so oh, cute? She's precious. She's getting big. Of course, we know that eating healthy and having a lot of options though, can be really expensive. Yeah. So right now on our website, I'm putting up some resources for parents on how to access these foods. Feed More Western New York has a lot of information. They also have some healthy eating programs for kids as well. Oh, that's really clever and also creative to let parents kind of decide for themselves, but the kids to figure out what they want to eat. And can you believe between broccoli and a cookie? Now, of course, she's going to eat the cookie, right? right? Eventually. But she ate broccoli first. Smart girl. She's getting big. How about this? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.